an obvious edge in reach here tonight. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Pretty strong jab there by Islam Makashe. That's a big hook. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, nice jab by Islam Akasha. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. On, and now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just missed with the straight left hand. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh! done pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Keep the pressure on. Everything's Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice kick to the body. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. Now lands a solid punch there. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. All right. Round two next. All right, so what a round it was for him. Multiple knockdowns. When we sat down with him on Thursday, he said, when I... But this instance, it's particularly surprising. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. Big shot. No denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Oh, another knockdown! All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up.
Out of range with that one. Oh, my God! He's out! Islam Makashev with a huge win tonight! Holy smokes! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's Bobby King Green ready to go for round one. It's going to be very interesting to see how this first round plays out. At times, Green has started slowly. At other times, he has come out guns blazing. James Kraus can certainly attest to that. Of course, he was knocked out by that vicious body kick back in 2013. Bobby Green ready to go here early round one. strikes effectively. You can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy it's tonight. a master class. Big shot on the feet! <laughs> that punch, no good. Oh, oh good combination. Keep that high now. Just over three minutes to go on off first round. Moving to his left now. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. With conviction to the body. Another big body keep landing. Well, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target, so he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Islam Makasha. Another big shot to the head. He's got some hands, man. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Ten seconds now in round one. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Just like it worked.
every day in the gym. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Go all ahead. right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. All right, DC, perhaps this will be the round in which the wrestler actually goes for a takedown. He's not even fainting shots thus far. It's crazy because the takedown set up the striking. He is limiting himself in his approach because he's not using a skill that he's become known for. Green's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. Don't back up. Quick jab lands here. there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. Oh! Green's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Big power shot there. And yet another hook landed there by Green. So we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Ninety seconds to go. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Going for the takedown, he misses. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes. Oh, wow. Another knockdown! Oh, oh saved oh. by the bell there. The round is over. He got knocked down just before you heard the horn. And of course, he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Ready to fight? Ready. 
Right, all eyes on Armand Sarukyan as this round gets underway in earnest. Of course, all rounds begin on the feet, where Sarukyan has said he believes he will have a decided advantage here tonight. But don't be surprised to see him grapple. He's very instinctive when it comes to his takedown game, and you know if he gets the fight there, it could be a real problem for his opponent tonight. Man, they are trading early and off. another combination so it's never just one shot there's always two or three coming behind a lot of times people throw singular strikes not this gentleman this man is stringing four or five six in a row what a great job head kick oh right hand gets up to block it you know a lot of people say those don't land but even if you block them a little bit they still put damage on you nice straight punch So 42 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Big double leg, left change. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh! Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Try to separate from the punch now. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so that round is in the books. Volkanovski's bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. He certainly got a lot done on the feet, and as such, he has opened up a pretty significant gash above his opponent's eye. Yeah, it was a buildup. He just kept popping him. He kept hitting him until something opened him up. And now he can see the damage that he's inflicted. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who both it goes down for. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Well, Alexander will... Oh! All right, so that calf starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check it. Oh! Big knee to the body! Man, these guys are falling back and forth. It's a good right hand right there. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off 
and take your dives. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Sauer John's nose is bleeding now. Yes. Oh, he got him again. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Sauer John gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Oh, now he's attacking on trying. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Sauer John goes for the takedown and misses. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head off the back. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now. Oh, yeah, he hurt him bad. He's got to start doing now. That is it. What a fight by Alexander Volkanovsky. What a performance. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so Charles Oliveira ready to get back to it right now. He has evolved his game into the most dangerous lightweight in the world, maybe the most dangerous pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world right now here in modern-day mixed martial arts. Oh, nice jab up top by Diaz. Whiffs on that offering. So more output, at least in the early going. All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target is very accurate with that straight left hand. So he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. Effective strike there by Diaz. Well, fear is not a factor for this striker. Coming out swinging early as we expected. Everything being thrown with fight ending intent. He throws everything so hard, but he said to us, when we talked to him earlier in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I get taken down. As long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting before. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Elbow attempt now, that one blocked by Oliveira. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps in. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Just over two minutes to go. And he connects there. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Looks phenomenal tonight. Diaz's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oliveira's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. 
45 seconds to go here in round one. Oliveira gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Working off the jab, it's good. 20 seconds to go in round one. 